Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be reacting to some photos of some poorly installed consumer units and I'll give you some tips of things to look out for when carrying out an ERCR. I'll talk you through some of the problems um, in the pictures and also for reference I'll put the regulation numbers in the description below. So here we have the first example and the first problem that I'm going to point out is at the bottom of the screen where you can see that the two tails enter the consumer unit via separate knockouts which is a problem obviously because of uh, the potential for eddy currents uh, to arise in the metal consumer unit. The second problem you can see up here there's an RCD that appears to be a different manufacturer. It looks like, a, it looks like an MK uh, RCD has been installed in a different manufacturer's board. Um, so that is obviously a big problem. We, we can't mix and match uh, protective devices like that. And you can see because the RCD is a different make, it doesn't actually fit properly. And you can see at the top there, you can see that uh, you can see the terminals through. There's a bit of a gap there um, and it just generally doesn't fit. So here we have the next example and so the problem here obviously is the size of the knockout at the bottom of the screen. In fact I don't think it's a knockout, I think it's been, it looks like it's been drilled and the problem there is the IP rating of the consumer unit. So you can see there that you could easily uh, get a finger in there and reach the buzz bar um, because it's at the bottom of the consumer unit. The second problem with that as well is, is that I think that the edges look very rough, looks like it's been drilled, it's not been filed down and it's just been used uh, and they've just used a bit of grommet strip there which doesn't cover the whole knockout. Um, and here really the best thing to do is to use either the gland or simply we could use a, um, a bush and lock ring provided that it's not possible to get your finger in and reach any of the uh, live parts there. So when it comes to consumer units it's necessary for the sides and the bottom to be IP2X, which basically just means that you can't get your finger in um, and, and access any live parts. And the top has to be IP4X. The best thing for this uh, situation is the uh, gland um, because it holds the tails in place. I think possibly that wasn't done because of the uh, because of the constraints of the space below, whether whether you can see the meter is situated below it. But I would say definitely I would use a bush and lock ring, uh, provided that it's not possible to get a finger in there. And th this again is a real shame because it's a brand newly installed consumer unit, or it was rather. Um, so, so yeah, really, really, it's, it's really a problem. Something definitely there to look out for when you're doing an EICR. So I always check the, the bottom of the consumer unit to make sure that there are no holes big enough to get your finger in um, and the top of the consumer unit to make sure that there's no open knockouts at all to prevent any ingress of any, of any dust or objects or particles. And so here we have a similar example. Um, here they've used, uh, the cables go through the same knockout fortunately, but there is no uh, there's no mechanical protection for the tails there at all. So again, what could have been done there is either the gland or just simply a bush and lock ring would have, would have sufficed for that. It would have been absolutely fine. So it's a real shame there that it's, it's a brand new installation. Um, and for that one, I would probably give that, um, if, if it's possible to get your finger in the bottom, which looks like it is, I would probably give that a code two. Um, if it's possible to get the finger in and reach the buzz bar, I'd give that a code one. Um, if not, if it's not possible to get the finger in there, I would probably give that a code three. But certainly something to look out for on an ERCR and certainly something that you wouldn't expect to see on a brand new installation. So some things to look out for there. So these are some good examples of things to look out for when carrying out an ERCR. If you'd like to see more reaction videos like this, please give us a like and please leave us a comment below.